Hello everyone, this is Sasha with the LTRC. Thank you for joining us for Office 365 Tools and Applications for the Modern Legal Practice with our sponsor, Matter 365, as part of the LTRC Industry Insights Series held every Wednesday. Our speaker today is Rohi Prek. Mr. Prek is the Director of Innovation at Conduit Law and the Legal Innovation Office at Matter 365. He is also a registered trademark agent and practices intellectual property law. In addition to the practice of law, Mr. Crack develops and implements processes and workflow solutions for legal services to maximize efficiency and value to his clients. He is also a frequent speaker on the use of technology in legal practice. Thank you all for joining us. We'll now begin the webinar. Hi, thank you, Sasha, for an introduction. Uh, again, I'm Rohit Parikh from uh, Matter 365, and we're going to go through uh, the Microsoft 365 tools and applications for the modern legal practice. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, Microsoft just changed the name of Office 365 to Microsoft 365, so I may revert back and forth between the two, um, but hopefully we'll get the gist of what I'm talking about. So. Unlike the old Office products that you probably had installed on your machine, Microsoft 365 is now entirely in the cloud. Um, so where you would normally store all of your documents uh, and files on premise servers or on a device, uh, with Microsoft 365 is now cloud-based, which means that you get online storage and synchronization, which keeps your files accessible and safe. You have online versions of most applications, which means that you can work from any computer uh, with no local software installation necessary. And you can now have those Office applications that you use most are available on your phone and your tablet. So you can work from any device anywhere. And so with Office 365, everyone in your firm can be on the same page regardless of where they're working. These are just some of the applications that you're going to get with your Microsoft 365 uh, business standard license. Uh, I'm going to go through some, some of these today, uh, but quickly just to run them down. We have OneDrive, which can be used for data management and storage, Outlook for your email and calendar, Word for word processing, Excel for spreadsheets, PowerPoint for presentations. There's Microsoft Planner, which is a very powerful and intuitive project management tool. Uh, OneNote, which is a very versatile note-keeping application, and not but last but not least, Teams, which can be used as a very powerful matter-based collaboration and communication tool. Let's start with OneDrive. Um, because OneDrive is a cloud-based storage solution, all your files are stored in the cloud, but that doesn't mean that they're unsafe. The data is secured in this story, is so stored in the secure Microsoft Azure cloud. It's encrypted both at rest and in transit. And when you first set up your Microsoft 365 account, you actually get to choose the jurisdiction of that data storage. Uh, but it's not just in the cloud. You can also synchronize uh, that cloud-based storage to your hard drive uh, or your laptop, and then you can still have access to it even when you're offline. Any changes you make to those files will automatically be synchronized once you reconnect to the internet. The built-in collaboration tools uh, are also a great feature of OneDrive. So uh, you can actually share links to documents uh, rather than emailing copies of documents, which as we all know, email is not the most secure way of communicating. By sharing links to documents, that means there's only one copy of a document in existence. You're not uh, searching through your inbox, uh, trying to find the latest revision or version, or God forbid you sent it off to two different people and they both make changes that you then have to consolidate. And because everybody has the ability to make changes to the one document, the version control is automatically tracked and you can go back and check uh, earlier versions and compare them. Let me just take you quickly here into your OneDrive folder. So when you're looking to share uh, a link to a document, so this is a OneDrive I'm showing you here, you click on these three dots next to the document, you quickly click on it and you can see here you can say share. So you pick share, this can be shared with people inside your organization, people who already have existing access to that document or folder, or specific people outside, outside your organization. You can also block the editing and or block the download. Um, so there's quite a different, op different range of options you can use whenever you share the links. But once you've sent that link out, uh, the person who receives it is going to get a link to your document, they can open it, 
either in the web version of, on, uh, of Word or in their desktop version. Uh, and any changes they make will automatically be saved. In order to track what everyone else is doing with this document, you have the automatic version history that uh, OneDrive is keeping. So anytime anybody has opened this document, made changes and saved it, it's automatically going to save it as a new version. But you can always go back to the older versions. You can either restore them, you can open it to compare it, see what the changes are in case they didn't use track changes. And you can also delete versions as well if you didn't want to keep them. Um, the other advantage, or some of the other advantages of using OneDrive uh, is because you're sending links to documents that are stored in the cloud, you can actually have simultaneous viewing and editing of documents as well, whether they're in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. It allows two or more people to actually be in the document. You can see their cursor and see where they're making changes, and you can see their changes as they're making them. Uh, as well, in the same way that you can share documents, you can also share folders uh, with clients, uh, or share folders with people outside your organization, uh, for instance, your clients. Uh, this way, you can actually share a large volume of documents that are too big to email, or single documents that are too large to email as well. And again, it's a more secure way of sharing the documents. And you do it the same way that you would, uh, as you would share documents, you just click on the folder and then click share. The next application, which I think most people are probably familiar with is Outlook. <clears throat> it is the communication workhorse of Microsoft Office. Uh, we all know that email management is critical uh, in a legal practice, but it's the organization that is truly the key to keep on top of all that email. Uh, you can organize things in your inbox the old-fashioned way by creating folders, but because your inbox is a silo, no one else gets the benefit of any of that organization. But Outlook has the ability to create what they call output groups, which you can invite other people to, and they act as shared inboxes that you can then store and organize matter-specific emails, and everybody that you uh, are working with will have access, it, access to those shared inboxes. So you can see here, I'm showing you the online version of the applications today, but any desktop version would have the same features. So here you can see you have your Outlook groups that you can set up on the side that can relate to specific matters. And then any emails that you want into it, you would either drag and drop it into that group, or you can actually forward the emails into it using uh, different plugins. Matter 365 has a plugin that makes it quite easy uh, to get matter or to get <clears throat> emails into the group, <clears throat> pardon me, you would just simply search the matter, click on it, and then hit store email. And what's happening is we're automatically forwarding a copy of that email into the group folder, as well as pulling any attachments out of that email and storing it directly into the attachment folder in your OneDrive. So you actually get a, two things done at the same time. The next application is uh, OneNote. Uh, OneNote is an extremely versatile note-taking application. It can actually replace almost entirely the need for any written notes that you keep, whether it's a pad of paper next to your computer or a notebook that you take in and out of meetings. Uh, it can actually record meetings. You can embed documents and images and hypertext, audio, video, anything you want into your notes. Uh, and you can organize your notes by matter or by subject area or within a matter create subject or topic areas, phone calls, meetings, notes, file, research. Uh, and if you set up your one note properly, you can actually have it accessible and shared with everybody who's working on a file. So here, if we set up a notebook for a particular matter, you can see that we can set up different uh, sections and different pages within those sections to, to relate to anything you want to uh, do. You can see you can input <clears throat> Sorry, you can embed documents directly in it. You can also do audio recordings as well. Uh, but it's a great way for you to then keep all your notes organized for a matter, but then also share them with everybody within your group. So everybody knows where to put their notes and everybody knows where to look and find the notes for a particular matter. Now, Planner is probably Microsoft's best kept secret, uh, which is too bad because it's an extremely powerful task or project or matter management system uh, that has a pretty comprehensive deadline reminder system as well. Uh, matter management is the key to consistency of your legal services, uh, and it keeps everybody on track uh, for all the tasks that need to be done. 
Kanban is similar to other products you may be familiar with, Trello or Asana, and it's a Kanban or Kanban style visual board that allows for visual project management and collaboration with team members. Um, the, one of the real benefits of using Planner is that it allows everybody working on the matter to see the full matter management plan. So not only do they see their tasks, they see what everybody else is working on. So they see the context of everything that's working, uh, every, what everyone is working on. Uh, and if you're managing the matter, it allows you to know the status of the file almost immediately when looking into the plan and you can make sure nothing falls through the cracks. Uh, there's multiple views that you can get. I'll take you to that right now. So here's again a simple matter management plan set up. You can see that each of these buckets can correspond to phases of the file. Uh, each of the tasks will have its own card and they can put in subtasks as well with different checklists. Uh, everybody who uh, is a member of the team will get added, will be added to the plan and can be assigned the task. You can track the due dates and planner will email you the day before it's due, the day it's due, and every day after that until you mark it as complete. Um, you can also add links to documents in here uh, and it's quite versatile in terms of how you can set it up. Uh, it's only limited by your imagination and how many tasks you need to get done. Uh, but in terms of visualizations, you can view it as a board. You can also view it as a chart form, which again shows you what everybody is working on, <clears throat> how many tasks they have, how many are late or not started. Uh, and you can also view a schedule view as well, which shows you the same information, but on the calendar uh, of when all the tasks are done. You can see anything in red is something that's late. So again, last but not least, I want to talk about Microsoft Teams. Uh, the real benefit for Teams, I think, is being found now that people are having to work remotely uh, from their law firm, uh, from their various houses, uh, that it really allows for true collaboration and communication, even when you're not co-located co uh, with, uh, with your firm members. Uh, the chat allows for internal communication for firm and client related matters, and it keeps all that sort of internal communication out of your inbox, so it keeps your inbox clear of all that clutter. Uh, the meetings, uh, you can do a secure communication portal, which allows for both internal and external meetings. Uh, and in the meetings, you can do audio, video, as well as screen sharing, and you can set up matter-specific teams to keep all those communications organized. So again, I'm gonna show you the web-based version of Teams, but it's going to be the same uh, if you are uh, doing it in the desktop version. So you can see here, you can set up different teams or different channels of communication uh, for all of your matters. You'll get the communication posts going back and forth between the, uh, everyone in the matter. You can also add links across the top to those important things that people need access to. So here we can have it linked to your OneDrive folder where all your documents are stored. You can also have a link to that planner for that matter. So people can quickly and easily move in and out of various aspects of the Microsoft uh, 365 applications uh, by simply linking them directly in Teams. <clears throat> so I won't have time to get into all the various aspects of Teams, but this is some of the basic setup that you can use. Uh, that can help you uh, coordinate it. So everything I've just shown you uh, and all the features that I've described for Microsoft 365 are ready and available out of the box. Uh, but to maximize it the way that I've shown where you're actually creating linkage between uh, all the team members and all the various applications, uh, you'll need to do some background or organization. Uh, and this includes adding individual members uh, to each of the shared OneDrive folders or the SharePoint directories. You have to create the Outlook group, you have to create the plan, you have to create the notebooks, then invite those specific people to all of those uh, individual applications. And you can learn to do and spend uh, the time to do this on your own, but at Matter365, we've developed a better solution. And what we are is a complete legal mail practice management solution that is fully integrated with Microsoft 365. And so we will take care of the, all that background organization of your Microsoft application so you can focus on your billable work. And we do this through what we call matter-centric organization. So anytime you create a matter in Matter 365, we're actually gonna create a matter-specific team on Microsoft Teams, a matter-specific Outlook group for your inbox and calendar, a matter-specific plan on Planner, matter-specific folder in OneDrive, a matter specific notebook in OneNote, a new site on SharePoint to house uh, some, some of that information, 
And we also have a deep integration with QuickBooks Online for all your billing and invoicing needs. And we're managing all of this through Office 365 groups. And so what this matter-centric organization will do, it will keep all your documents, notes, emails, and calendars for all your matters separate and organized. It also means that all your users on your team will have access to the proper Microsoft applications and the underlying data within those applications. We also make it easy for you to quickly and easily add remo remove users with a single interface will then update the teams and sharing for all the applications that you're using. And our matter dashboards give quick insight and access to what you need to use most. And this can be used as a portal to get access to all the matter specific spaces between in Microsoft 365. So in Matter 365, this is uh, what the Matter dashboard looks like. And as you can see here, we've got the Matter details where you can see the owners and members. These are the people within your organization that need to work on a file. They'll automatically be being given access to all of the underlying data, but if they're not listed here as owners and members, then they won't have access. So it also acts as a permission-based system as well. Uh, tile for recent documents. We're pulling the task status from Planner to show you what's going on. Uh, as well as important links. And each of these links will take you to the matter specific spaces in each of those applications, as well as some high level billing and invoicing information that we're pulling out of QuickBooks. Uh, and it's from here that you can quickly get access to your documents. We give you a, a view of your OneDrive. Uh, we also have document tagging as well. But in addition, we've also got timekeepers and the ability to track your time and expenses uh, and build that out to your clients quickly and easily through our integration with QuickBooks Online. So that's essentially what Matter365 does. And in terms of cost, uh, we're only $29.99 uh, US per user per month. If you paid annually, it's a little bit higher if you pay monthly. We offer 30 day free trials and we also have a migration service available uh, if you are uh, moving from a different practice management system. Uh, if you haven't yet signed up for Microsoft 365, uh, the business standard license, which includes all the applications I talked about today, uh, has uh, their license fee is $12.50 US per user per month, uh, and they also have 30 day free trials available. So thank you for joining uh, myself and the Matter 365 team for this industry insight webinar. You can visit matter365.com for more information on our product and our newest initiatives. I'd like to thank Matter365 for um, taking part in the Industry Insights series. If anyone is curious about any future webinars, feel free to check out the ABA LTRC page or follow our Twitter at LTRC for updates. Uh, one more time, thank you, Rokeet, for presenting today. Uh, we'll now conclude the webinar. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.